Hey, I'm Bobby Tonelli with Tech360.tv, and I'm here in Tokyo, Japan, for Panasonic's 100th anniversary, 1918 to 2018. We're going to see some brand new consumer electronics, and we're also going to see smart homes. Let's check them out. It's not just about consumer appliances and electronics. It's really about really encapsulating living and the essentials of living and having a better quality of life. This is the essence of Panasonic's home and living. It's about being solutions-based, and they actually have a bathroom for men. Look at this. It's wood, wood doors, everything matches. You got a different cover, cover on the toilet seat. It's kind of interesting the way they look at things. It's all about, okay, here's a problem. How do we fix it? And how do we make it look good, minimal, at the same time really fit, making your space that you have in your home, maximizing it. Now we have seen other things that we cannot talk to you about. Some technology that is so advanced that we, were, we had to leave our cameras and our phones in a room locked up. And I can tell you, what we saw was quite amazing. We are going to see a smart town, Fujisawa SST. When you think about a smart town, you might think about like the Truman Show and like it's a bit like everyone can see what you're doing. Can't record any of the residences, we're not allowed to do any of that, but we're going to see how they live, what the homes are like, the technology behind this. We're in a smart town, so you need a smart bicycle. This is a Panasonic electric bike for three and probably half. What's also cool about having bikes like this here, it's all part of the ecosystem to sort of save energy and that's why it's a sustainable smart town. This is a model home of what the residences actually live in. It's high tech, but you don't see a lot of it. I mean, okay, minus this, which is pretty cool. Take a bath and you get this whole visual. It is a connected home, but it doesn't feel like a connected home, which I guess for some people is a nice feeling. It's not too intimidating, especially if you're an older person. You're not like going, oh my God, what, what button do I push? This is the walk-in closet. Um, looks like we've got sort of like some station there, power station or router of some sorts. This is a sort of a tablet here that allows you to control lighting, sleep time. And from what I understand, these homes range around 60 million yen. So that's around 748,000 sing. Let's go up to the attic. Let's go, come on in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is as high as we're going. I guess it's for kids or people that wanna crawl up here. I don't know if I would stay up here too long. Oh, the lights are out, oh. Let me use the phone to turn it on. Oh, I want to wash my hands. The water starts. Da -da -da. And then I come over here to my smart TV and then I can see what's outside. I can see the cameras around. I can actually, if I have a package coming to me, it will alert me on my TV that a package is coming in and be ready to be delivered to my home. So let's take a look at here, in emergency. So you've got your solar power generation from your solar panels. Goes to the backup devices so it lights up the home. So if something goes wrong, you've got that backup power needed. So that's smart. But you can tell, I mean, it's not overly cluttered with technology. It's there to help you and assist you, but it's not intimidating. You know what sucks? I made the wrong shoe decision today. I wore boots to a Japanese home. Bad, bad idea. Because you need to take your shoes off all the time. That is the future, and that is why we're here. And there are other things that we saw which we cannot tell you. So some of the products you're seeing here are gonna be the products featured at the uh, 2020 Olympics here in Tokyo. So this is the beginning, and in five years from now, everything that we've saw today will be in your home. Panasonic, please bring it outside of Japan. I am Bobby Tinelli with Tech360.tv. Hope you enjoyed this and seeing the smart homes of the future and today here in Japan. Leave your comments below, let me know your thoughts and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Comfortable, good? Yeah.